Hey, 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 Aries. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your Tuesday, May 12th to the 13th intuitive love tarot read. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aries. Before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. I'm going to pull four cards here, Aries, for you, and then get a psychic message just for you from Spirit. Channel message. Four of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Okay, let's get this message. Hmm. They're saying things are raw, raw, R-A-W right now. And I'm feeling for whoever this is for, it's like an open wound that you're trying to heal. It could be something that's resurging, um, coming forward. Venus just went retrograde. Could be about love. But a lot of planets are going retrograde right now. So this is a past something that's popping up and it's like an old wound, but you need to look at it, they're saying, because it needs to be fully healed. It's being brought up for a reason. Lighten your load, Aries. You're doing too much, they're saying. Lighten your load because you need to balance. Okay. Hmm. I love this at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles. This is abundance, happiness, marriage, family. Now. Wow. Aries. You've got somebody coming towards you making an offer, possibly an apology, could be somebody from the past. Like I said, a lot of planets are going retrograde. But this, uh, this is an opportunity for you, but you're holding back. And this, okay, this is what's being brought up. It's like this old, this is in relation to that old wound that's being brought up. It has to do with this individual. It could be a Taurus with the King of Pentacles here. You do have the Ace of Pentacles. This is an opportunity for you to heal, though. Yeah, see? Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. You probably have Earth in your chart because there's a lot of Earth here. So, what I'm feeling, Aries, is that you guys are like a perfect match. So, I don't know what happened. But they're coming back to apologize. Yeah, see? This is your destiny. This is the wheel of fate. That's why I say I feel like this is a perfect match. You're holding back, though, from getting on this wheel. Tell me why. Yeah, see? It's like you're keeping quiet about this past, but Spirit's saying you can't. You have to let this out to them. You have to let this out and you have to speak about it. Mm -hmm. Because once you let it out, then your passion will be able to move forward. Clarify this, Knight of Wands. Yeah, see, this is what's hidden within you. This passion, this excitement, this youthful uh, exuberance, right? For this person, for this person. This person makes you feel young again. This person, this, per this person lightens you up. And by letting this go, okay, and, and getting it off your chest to really discuss this with this, in, 
individual this will lighten your load like spirit was saying in the beginning lighten your load this is one of the things that you can do to lighten this load okay clarify this king of pentacles oops yeah death scorpionic energy and king of cups wow this person has a lot of emotion for you this is probably an emperor if not they certainly are on their way to becoming one emperor or empress this is just their masculine energy that they're really embodying right now because i feel like they're focused on their foundation on their money but they have a lot of deep emotions for you clarify the page of cups yeah this has taken them some strength to come forward to you and, and apologize, Aries. Clarify the Queen of uh, Pentacles here. Yeah. A new cycle is wanting to be had here. Okay? This could be Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Tell me about this. Yeah. See? There's a burden. The Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Wands. It's like it's the opportunity to lift this burden off of yourself. This could be a twin. You have the justice card here. This is karma. This is karmic balance. This is the karmic wheel. It's all coming back around. This is for a purpose. It's time. It's time. Okay. Any advice for Aries? Oops. Knight of Pentacles. Take your time if you need to. Okay. But you got to open up to this person, even if you just open up a little at a time. Yeah, you got to walk away from what is not serving you. And hanging on to this shit is not serving you anymore. Okay? This has to be talked about, Aries. You can't hold it in. Queen of Wands. And I'm feeling this is you. This is that Queen of Wands wanting to emerge, that, that fire, that excitement, that sexuality, that creativity, that get up and go vigor, right? A sexiness. This is the temptress. This is mm, a lot of energy, a lot of oomph, and a magical feeling as well at the bottom of the deck. Uh-huh. Temptation. That's that sexual feeling I was... I'm feeling from the Queen of Wands. You have a strong sexual connection with this individual, but you have to look at your patterns. Your pattern, patterns revolving around holding down feelings, holding down, you know, biting your tongue, not speaking your mind. You really need to speak it. Now, speak from the heart, of course, but speak your mind because this needs to be talked about. So look at the patterns that have not served you in the past. If it, if it didn't work last time, it's not gonna work again. So something has to be changed, right? That's the definition of insanity. So, all right, Aries, I hope this made sense. I hope you resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested with a personal reading with me, this. The information is in the description box below. Have yourself a fabulous day, Aries, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.